welcome back to my youtube channel my name is angani Fini. thank you for checking this video out if you're a returning subscriber thank you thank you thank you thank you your love and support does not go unappreciated so today i actually want to talk about the i want to compare an honors degree in applied mathematics from the university of obviously the restaurant and the university of johannesburg so obviously these university are neighboring university one being in Auckland Park, well, the main campus, and one being in Bramfontein, the main campus. There is an idea that Ritz is way better than UJ. And as obviously, I have to take that because otherwise I will not be able to walk around campus. But I do actually disagree in some areas because unfortunately, when we talk about which university is best, we do look at the overall reputation, history, research, and, and that's fundamental in order to be able, in order to compare universities. But when you're thinking for your own self, where do I want to go? You also have to look at what are your goals, what do you want to study, and how you want to do it. Today, I actually want to compare the two, and I know people are going to kill me for doing this, but let's go. So obviously, the first degree of comparison is expenses. Obviously, UJ wins if you're thinking I want the cheaper one to think I want the expensive one that's wins because that's is more expensive than UJ in average on average so that wins if you're thinking about location it's Auckland Park and Brown hey not much of a difference but the point that I actually want to go into is syllabus so I will be comparing the syllabus here and I will let you make the conclusion and as somebody who did who had this opportunity to do this one I'm like, why didn't I go here? Right? And I w this is the mistake that I hope this video carries is that look at the syllabus. Don't just look at, yeah, yeah, because always I was a VITS, yes, it VITS, it's fine, I wasn't going to change processes. But like, I'm like, quantum computing is offered, uh, quantum field theory is actually offered. They offer, they're offering way more things that I would have been interested in. And I so wish that that's what I did versus, well, I still didn't do the pure applied math because it's because I didn't feel like it fit what I wanted to study. But it was actually quite interesting to realize that. And wow, like I have to make, I have to make UJ a winner on this one. But comment down below which one you think is actually the best based on curriculum. I think it's UJ. If you're planning on doing an honors in applied maths, I'm not saying don't go to VETS, please go to VETS. This is amazing, it's exciting. But also if you want, consider going to UJ because it's actually a good school. So there you have it guys, a comparison of two degrees based on a syllabus. Obviously this was a short video that I hope you enjoyed because it was just me talking about my regrets. And hopefully, I hope to shine some light in the fact that Look at the syllabus. Don't just look at, oh yeah, this is what, this is what. Look at the syllabus. And if it's a better syllabus, even if it's a less reputational school, yeah, you go. Obviously, I'm not saying this does not have quantum computing. It has it, don't get me wrong. We have people who do quantum computing. I'm just saying it's not offered in the applied maths honors degree curriculum. I'm not saying again, if you wanted to study, you wouldn't because you're still able to study a lot of things that are not in the curriculum through just going to the people offering it, uh, to people actually doing that research. But I'm just saying it's not in the syllabus or in the curriculum. So I would definitely go for this one. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you agree, give this video a thumbs up. If you don't, comment down below why. Bye.